Hello, Jeffrey Martin here, director of the Center for the Study of Non-Symbolic Consciousness and a research professor and director of the Transformative Technology Lab at Sophia University in the heart of Silicon Valley, where we research how to take seekers and help them become finders and how to take finders and help them become explorers so that everyone, including you, can live your most powerful and purposeful life. Well, I get asked all the time, what's so awesome about enlightenment, non-duality, persistent mystical experience, transcendental consciousness, the peace that passeth understanding, and the zillions of other terms that relate to this. And I'm asked this, of course, because we've studied thousands of people who report this over the last decade. Um, and so I've accumulated a huge amount of information about this. And we've narrowed down a core of this experience, independent of religion, independent of spirituality, that we call persistent non-symbolic experience, or PNSE. So that's the term that I'm going to use. It's an academic term that we use for this. And it's kind of a bucket term that describes all of the, the really the psychological core around these things, what they share in common. Because these terms, they're, you know, they're often religious terms or spiritual terms. They bring a lot of baggage and there's a lot of beliefs around them and stuff like that. But we think there's a fundamental psychological change that occurs. So what's that change? Well, simply put, for the average person deep down in their psychology, their whole foundation is built around fear and worry and anxiety and things like that. Right? So that's the human norm. We call it the human condition. And we often think that there's no escape from the human condition, but our research has showed us that there's absolutely an escape, and it can be a really rapid escape from the human condition. So from a persistent non-symbolic experience standpoint, what's the change? The change is a fundamental shift deep down away from those things and to a new foundation where everything feels OK. It just simply feels OK, exactly as it is. Now, I don't mean that in a non-functional way. I mean, if somebody's holding a gun at you, you're not like, Oh, everything is just so wonderful. Look, he's got a gun. Oh, this is just so blissful and amazing, right? You're totally functional. You're totally able to deal with things as they arrive. But there's a sense of fundamental okayness that underlies everything. You don't, you're not living in anxiety. You're not living in fear. Your brain isn't building your experience from that foundation. Most people don't even realize the extent to which that's happening. People come into the experiments and they're like, you know, I'm such a happy person. I'm just a really, really happy person. I don't, I can't imagine how much happier I could really be. So I, I'm, you know, I'm going to participate in your experiment, but I just want to let you know that it's probably not going to do anything for me because I'm so happy. They get on the other end of it and they're like, oh my God, I thought I was happy. I had no idea what happiness was. I had no idea what true well-being was. And they've just had this profound shift. Their whole baseline has changed, even though they were what we would classically consider somebody was super happy. You know, what's super happy to the normal population is like, you know, not happy at all, really, to, from the standpoint of persistent non-symbolic experience. Um, and so that's, there's this radical change that can occur. Another huge change that occurs is a sense of completeness that comes over you, a sense that you don't really need to add anything to yourself. You're not constantly trying to achieve goals, hoping to add on one more. If I just had one more title, you know, if I just got one more degree, then, oh wow, then you know, I would just feel great. If I just got a Ferrari, wow, if I just had a Ferrari, I, you know, I'd feel so fantastic. That would be it. I, that, that's really the thing that I need to just complete my life. Uh, I just need a family. I just need kids. I just need whatever, right? Your brain is constantly telling you about this next thing that you need. Um, how many of those things have you succeeded in? I bet you, you don't take the time to stop and think about how successful you really are. You probably have this vision of yourself that you're not that successful. Most people are constantly believing their brain when it's suggesting, hey, we just need this next goal. Okay, that last one didn't do it, but we just need this next one, and then we'll finally have reached that place. We'll finally have it. Uh, well, guess what? You've been incredibly successful over your life. You'll just take a moment and you'll just list all of the incredible things that you've done. The reality is that you're a remarkable person. You've done a lot of incredible stuff that you haven't given yourself credit for. That you haven't taken the time to realize. And the reason is because your brain just keeps telling you, well, that didn't do it. You know, that provided some temporary satisfaction, but what are we going to do now? Hmm. You know, we need another child. If we just had another child, that, that'll, that'll do it. 
or if we just had a new job and it was this job, that, that, that's the thing that we're really missing. Um, so it's just chasing these illusory goals. Uh, and even after you achieve them, the ironic thing is that the most successful people in the world are often the most unhappy. It's because they've just kind of given up on the idea. I mean, they've gotten, they've been so successful. They've achieved goal after goal after goal. They just don't, they can't believe anymore that there's anything that they can actually do that would change their life situation. So, beautiful change that happens with the transition to persistent non-symbolic experience is that everything seems okay and that you seem okay. You seem whole. You seem fundamentally complete. You're not out there looking for stuff to add to yourself. That piece of you that has all those self-doubts and that's constantly saying, well, if only we had this, then that, that'd be it. We'd finally have it. Um, it's just not there. Or at the very least, it loses its power over you. And so there's, a, there's just a huge benefit in this transition. There's huge changes in your emotionality. Um, the high highs and the low lows go away. Um, and you're really just left with this deeply peaceful state, uh, very positive oftentimes from an emotional standpoint. It's just such a phenomenally different way to live life. There's a, a greater sense of flow in your life, a greater sense that everything is uh, kind of flowing, if you will. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but the bottom line is there's just so much amazing stuff about the state. A lot of it's available on our site, uh, nonsymbolic.org. If you go to the publications page, there's plenty of stuff that you can read about it, interviews with me, talks that I've given at conferences, and you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but I just, I want to most importantly leave you with this, and that is that you can get there. Our research in the last couple of years has been amazing. And one of the things that it's shown is that people can get there. We have a 15-week protocol that we use in our experiments. You know, protocol is just a list of steps, a list of things to do. And so for 15 weeks, you do what we ask you to do. And at the end of that period of time for our research participants, 73% of people had transitioned. 73%. I don't, mean an, I don't just mean a temporary glimpse. 26% of people got at least one temporary glimpse, often more than one. It was kind of headed towards persistence, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm not even talking about the temporary versions of it. 73% of people reported ongoing forms of this, right? These were not special people. These were not people that were carefully handpicked because we thought that they would be most successful. We drew them from the public. So they were a wide range of demographics. They were all around the world. You can get there. All right, so if this is something that you're thinking about, I highly encourage you to pursue it. We've got lots of resources, lots of other videos and stuff like that that talk about that. I don't need to go into that here, but I just really want to encourage you to give this a try. There's nothing that you will do for yourself that will be more amazing and more powerful than this. This is literally not just the greatest gift that you can give yourself, which it absolutely is. It's the greatest gift that you can give those around you because the change in you is just so amazing for them. Beyond that though, it's the greatest gift that you can really give the world because it, the magnified impact that can come from you as a result of having this transition is really just enormous. You're, you're increasing, just your effectiveness alone um, is so significant. So I just can't encourage you and sort of pep talk you enough into giving this a try. You're watching this video. There's something that drew you to this video. There's something about this that you're interested in. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you start heading in this direction because we're living in a time where you can get there. This isn't the old days where knowledge was fragmented and people would spend their whole lives trying and not get there. It's a whole new day. The internet, so much stuff out there. You can absolutely get there.